is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here today we're going to be talking about melissa barrera and that firing situation and something that happened after news broke out with the press and the media you know the likes of variety deadline etc what went on there and i'll be giving some further details on some other stuff i didn't talk about all of this i will say is just alleged allegedly melissa barrera well actually before i even get to that big shout out to pop crave big shout out to beyond the mask and everybody who's been coming my way especially beyond the mask and pop crave for their coverage of what i was reporting but allegedly Melissa Barrera was seemingly sought after in an effort to repair the broken bond that existed between herself and Spyglass after the firing incident became public knowledge. Sadly, that didn't go well for Spyglass, who allegedly didn't have their wishes respected. So what did they want? Well, I've seen a few of you actually get it right already, but just to put the nail in the coffin. Allegedly, this meeting was in response to the backlash pouring in and they wanted her to basically punt fake on her beliefs, condemn certain groups. And she basically told them to stick it where the sun don't shine. That's not exactly what she said. I'm, I, I'm again trying to simplify this. Not only did they want her to punt fake, they wanted her to do it publicly. She told them basically to shove it. That's my way of simplifying what I was told. That's the gist of it. I got this from my landing source who knew who knew he was directing or knew he was asked to direct. They've also been sharing Maxine details with me, et cetera. So they've been very reliable. But here's what I found funny. Obviously, this alleged meeting was arranged to make things better. But when Melissa stood her ground, these clowns apparently threw a fit. That's what I've heard. So from my perspective, you were engaging in bad faith anyway, because you weren't even trying to peacefully just agree to disagree on a very serious topic, but rather wanted a talent to abandon themselves to please you. And then you got mad at her during the meeting for doing the opposite. That's that's very cute. <laughs> All I know is Scream 7 should be a Sam centric story i will die on that hill saying this and for those who think it should be sydney 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 okay fine but the fact remains we were being told sam carpenter's story featuring sydney prescott it wasn't sydney prescott featuring sam carpenter but living in la la land is cool to do these days so go go nuts go off do whatever you want good on melissa for not agreeing to the nonsense because it wasn't in good faith and it was disrespectful if you ask me we know companies do this, though, have talent lie about their beliefs to get back in good graces with them as if nothing happened. Maybe a few of you have been in a position like that from a company you've worked with. I am curious if this little spat, though, is what led to the creative overhaul being decided on. I have also more recently heard of two stars with alleged deals in place, but I'm not discussing who at the moment since these could be deals that exist from the now scrap plans and set deals could be canned just like melissa's was canned so with everything up in the air it doesn't make sense to me to say so to say so and so has deals in scream 7 and will in fact appear when the news could shift to the opposite being true but yes that is what other rumored bit i want to discuss is that spyglass apparently acted unprofessional after she stood her ground and look, y'all can cook up a Barney and Friends centric story or a Humpty Dumpty centric story. This was supposed to be Sam's story and you killed it. Sure, they have a sure they have like a right to operate, if you will, based off of their own ethics. And I can respect that. But my argument is she just didn't deserve it. Melissa didn't deserve it. In their eyes, I understand why they fired her. But she should still be in the movie. And a lot of people agree she should still be in the movie. A lot of people, even like myself, think that you all should be able to come together, put that aside and get business done. You're not able to do that, not because of Melissa, because of your own selves. Melissa didn't do this. You did this. Melissa didn't seek out being fired. You guys decided to fire her. So she wasn't. I've, I've said this so many times in my other videos. She wasn't the one having issues with spyglass spyglass was having issues with her granted maybe there were some other things she had issues with spyglass on i don't know she could have been frustrated with spyglass over stuff with scream six you know there's so much that people could be frustrated at spyglass for given how they keep presenting themselves in public light when it's time to have a press run but i digress before i go i do need to say this i don't see melissa barrera returning to this franchise given what i just told you their reaction was during this meeting i don't see her returning to the franchise with these people in charge now i do want to say i can't dismiss this and sure it's not the complete same context but 
I never thought that CM Punk would be back in the WWE ring again and look where we are now. This is, of course, a very different context. And I just don't see Melissa Barrera for now ever being in a screen movie as long as Spyglass holds the rights to this IP. They would have to get out of the door. They would have to surrender the rights. They would have to sell the rights, which is, again, the preferred outcome. Many of us, myself included, would want get Gary Barber and his band of clowns, if you will, far away from it. Just get it away from the IP. Give it to somebody who will respect people's personal beliefs, respect everybody's difference of opinion and just go on about their day. It's just really ridiculous that this is what it came to with Melissa Barrera. Again, somebody who many of you are going to chime in saying she deserved it. I don't think she did. She didn't deserve it one bit. She should still be in the freaking movie. The movie should still be about Sam Carpenter. Oh, and I will say this. If they... I, I, I might be speaking it into existence, but I, I have to get this off my chest. If they kill Sam Carpenter in Scream 7, I'm going to deduct two points from it because I'm certain one is going to be executed poorly and it's just going to be very petty. So I'm going to be petty back. <laughs> I might deduct five points from it. But again, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.